uh welcome everybody so in cyber security uh domain uh we heard about the uh, digital certificate right uh like uh, if we are accessing any website uh, we are getting like uh, https right there is ssl tls certificate right so in this video we will discuss about the uh explaining the chain of trust means what is the ch uh, certificate chain what is the difference between self signed certificate root certificate intermediate certificate server certificate which is also known as as early certificate and after that we will discuss about the ssl certificate chain example by visiting this website and uh how is uh, ssl certificate chain validated okay so first uh now uh, what is the uh, certificate chain or chain of trust like so uh, a certificate chain is ordered to list of certificate like a root certificate inter intermediate certificate server certificate okay which containing the ssl tls certificate and certificate authority certificate that enable the uh, enable the receiver to verify that sender and all the uh, cs are trustworthy for example i am accessing this website cisco.com so uh, as i am uh, as i am receivers to verify the sender and all cs are uh, uh, trustworthy okay so the chain or path begins with the ssl tls certificate and each certificate in the chain is signed by the entity identified by the next uh, certificate in the chain so entity identified by means organization we can say that and and uh, organization or uh, uh, and user or end client okay uh, now let's uh, discuss about the self signed certificate okay so self signed certificate uh, are those certificate where both issued to and issued by or field of that certificate are the same here you can see right uh, it's issued to and issued by it's the same so it's a self signed certificate okay and in simple words uh, it is a certificate where one issue a certificate to itself hence the name of self signed certificate so this is the one example of uh, self signed certificate okay and uh, here you see that uh, like uh, issue to an issue by but here is you see it's a warning right warning so this so warning it indicates that it's not trusted by the certificate authority okay so this root c certificate is not trusted means not signed by any certificate authority that's why we are we are uh, we are saying that it's a self signed certificate okay now let me go to the root certificate uh, after this so root certificate for example uh, if i visit this uh, website uh and i downloaded the certificate uh let me export it here certificate is validity right so here from here i exported that certificate and i open that certificate here okay this is the server certificate okay but in this server certificate we can i uh, we can check the uh, root certificate as well as okay for example if i will click on the uh, details certificate path here first so first indicate the uh, root certificate like if i click on the root certificate here you can see right so here you see uh, it's look like a uh, self signed certificate right issue to and issue by is the same but the difference uh, between uh, self signed and root certificate is uh, like it's uh, trustworthy by the certificate authority okay okay so a root certificate is also uh, we can say that self signed certificate which is which is known as a, a certificate authority okay and okay so and this uh, root certificate by default uh, pre downloaded in our uh, browsers and system uh as a trust store okay so if i click on if i will open the uh, browsers i am see management console okay uh, let me open it okay so here 
so if you see this is the trust certificate certificate authorities okay so here uh, we see the certificate list now let's see this root certificate is a present or not because it's pre downloaded in the system so let me go to it's ident ident trust commercial right so let me go to yeah this is the present so all the root certificate are pre downloaded in the browser and uh, system okay so this uh, okay so the role of this set, uh, uh, this uh, root certificate is to issue a intermediate certificate uh intermediate ca so as well as to sign verify provide and third party validation of other ssl certificate within the chain okay so let me go to the uh, intermediate certificate so this is a okay let me see one so this is the intermediate certificate so here if you see it's issue to this is the uh, intermediate certificate and issue by this so the role of the root certificate is to issue the intermediate certificate as well as to sign and verify and provide the third party valid uh, validation of that uh, for other ssl certificate within the chain as well as okay uh, now let me go to the you know, inter intermediate certificate so if so intermediate certificate is a branch of root certificate like uh, it's under the uh, root uh, under the root tree okay so uh, it act acts a middleman between the pr uh, protected root certificate and the server cert certificate issued to issued out to the public so there will always be the one intermediate certificate in the chain but there can be a more than one as well as okay in here example we are seeing only one intermediate certificate right but in uh, other scenario it will more than one as well as so intermediate certificate issued to protect root certificate and for issuing end certificate or like leaf certificate or server certificate okay so now uh, this is the root certificate here we can see issue to and issue by is different so issue by is our root uh, certificate to issue this intermediate certificate here okay all this certificate details are available on the server certificate because i exported the certificate from this uh website itself so this is a server certificate but server certificate contain all the information about the intermediate certificate and the root certificate okay now let's discuss about the server certificate so server certificate uh, we can say as a leaf certificate as well as so server certificate or leaf certificate is a digital certificate issued to specific web server or a specific domain by the certificate authority of the domain the user want to visit so its a main purpose is to verify the server's identity and establish the secure encrypted connection between the server and client's web browser so here we see right so main purpose of this to verify the server's identity and it should be a encrypted communication between our a web browser this web browser and this server actual server okay so on that uh, we can say that server certificate this yeah so, yeah this is just a root intermediate server like this we discuss right this first one is root this one is intermediate and third one is uh, server certificate so all the root certificate are present in our uh, system for windows if you uh, if we go to uh, mms uh, uh, windows plus r and mmc then it will open the console and after that we can see the trust root certificate authority and intermediate certificate authority so for example for trust root certificate if you check this this all are the trust root certificate which is pre downloaded and present in our system okay uh, now let's uh, uh ssl certificate chain example i already covered in this uh, video as well as but if let me go to again okay. so if i visit this uh, website here we can see certificate okay so common name means organization name ou issue to 
uh, yeah, or, uh, organization. My I mean, this is the root certificate, right? So and validity like issued on expiry on and the uh, fingerprints certificate finger, finger fingerprints and public key as well as yes, you see, this is the public. We will dis discuss about the public lane uh, 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 next video. Okay. And this is the here, all this thing like version, set serial number, issuer. Okay. Lot of details are there, but I simply exported that certificate and opened that uh, certificate as well as. on the Cisco certificate so this is the certificate which I exported and here is the which we discussed right root intermediate and server or leaf certificate which we can see all the this is the uh, uh, this is the we can there uh, we can say that SSL certificate chain so this is a one example and now uh, let's uh, discuss about the how is an SSL certificate chain validate right uh so for that let me go to this website again and here uh, let me discuss just a minute uh so when we visiting this uh, uh website in our case like uh, it's a cisco.com right so uh i'm trying to connect to this cisco uh, server over the https Okay, so before the website is load, the site uh, the site server send us its certificate. Okay, so certificate contains this information uh, which we already covered. You know uh, who it was issued to, entity name, date of issuing, validity of that uh, certificate, uh, and certificate fingerprints. Okay, let me close this. So when we uh, when I'm trying to access this website, so SSL certificate chain is validated through the a series of steps to ensure that connection between uh, my browser and server is secure. So, uh, for example, for validation process, like to establish the set, uh, uh, establish the secure communication, first we need to establish the uh, certificate chain. So we already discussed right certificate chain like. Mm -hmm. Uh, server certificate, lib certificate, or intermediate certificate, and root certificate, right? Uh, let me open again. Okay, so first, it, uh, first it will be establishing the uh, certificate chain. Okay, and check the certificate chain. Like uh, client start with the certificate, uh, server certificate, right? This certificate, and will touch chain trust of to the root certificate. So first, it will uh, identify the server certificate, intermediate certificate, and the the root certificate so it's a building the trust up to uh root certificate now validate it each certificate in the chain so signature verification issue check chain of trust after that it will check the other attributes like validity period what is the validity period and uh crl like certification revocation list distribution list and verify the in the last verify the uh, root certificate as well as so example like uh, when i access this website uh, my browser received a server certificate and uh, the server certificate is signed by the uh, intermediate uh, intermediate ca okay and the client retrieve and receive the intermediate certificate as well as now root certificate like intermediate certificate is signed by the root certificate right which we discussed last time and which is already pre-installed in our sy uh, system as well as now uh, now what have what it will happen like uh, signation uh, verification like client use the public key so here we see uh, the public key right uh, public key yeah this is the public key right even you can check that in details as well as public key Yeah, public key. This is the uh, it's a public key, right? Uh, and 
uh, after the public key, uh, like client use the public key of the root certificate to verify verify the signature of uh, intermediate certificate and use the public key of uh, intermediate certificate to verify the server certificate as well as so uh, let me go to the this certificate first root certificate okay end root certificate it's a public key right so this key root certificate key help us to verify the signature on intermediate certificate this certificate okay now understand like first it will check the root certificate public key to verify the intermediate certificate and then it will check the intermediate certificates public key to verify the uh, server certificate okay so this is the all uh, process to validate or uh, the uh, for the validation okay and after that uh, it will like uh, it will uh, in the last it will check the client system like root, uh, root certificate is uh, present in uh, trusted store or not so it's all about the ssl certificate chain validation to ensure that each certificate in the chain is properly issued by the trusted entity and that certificate are currently valid or not re and re not revoked this chain of trust is fundamental to establishing the secure SSL TLS connection between client to server, like browser to server connection. Okay, uh, thanks for watching.